we have Zaza Wellington of the United States running off and running. Three competitors, Mohammed Shamin in the middle. It is uh, Lita Clark or Shane Bailey, former national champion, comes through with a win. 10.50 for O'Shane Bailey, the former color bar man. And this time is 10.52, rounded up Shamin. 10.86 for Shamin and Wellington, Zaza Wellington. He took third place in that event. And uh, that was the second heat, as you see, O'Shane Bailey crossing the line first. He's a former national champion, over 100 meters, still competing these days. And we head straight now to heat three of the men's 100 meters. We have Zachary Alistair Cox in one, Nikoi White in two, Michael Campbell in three, Mackish Compton, GC Foster in four, Justin Freiter from Dynamic Speed Track Club, UTEX Odin Somerville is in six, Dominic Williams of UTEC in seven, and uh, Raymond Campbell unattached in lane number eight. As you see on your screen, activities over there at the long jump pit. No Raymond Campbell in lane number eight. And we understand that there's a scratch there in lane eight. As we have Seven competitors facing the starter. We look to the man in lane three, Michael Campbell from the MVP Track Club. He was in a horrific car accident a couple of years ago and worked his way back to where he is now. Former Jamaica College sprinter in the set position and uh, the man from Dynamic Speed Track Club looks to be in trouble. Nikoi White. We'll await the, the official standings and the official. Yes, lane two looks to be in trouble. Nikoi White will await the officials to make their decision. And Emmanuel Archibald in charge. Of an exciting men's long jump competition. Now but they're standing behind their blocks, of course. These velocity set fest meets geared towards high performance from our athletes. And it looks as if it is a green card that comes out. So they go to their marks yet again. Of course, athletes are gearing up for respective international events coming up in the summer. Most notably will be the Olympic Games. As the athletes are gearing up yet again. The men's long jump competition, really exciting. 7.93 meters for Sean D. Thompson. He is one centimeter off the lead, 7.94. Set by the Guyanese Emmanuel Archibald. Negative 2.1 on that performance for Sean D. Thompson. So the wind not helping him at all, but he's in second position. So... They go to their marks again for this third heat in the men's 100 meters here at the Velocity Fest at the J.C. Aschenheim Stadium here in Jamaica. On their marks, we have Cox 
Representing Cornwall in one off and running. Getting up very well is Compton from GC Foster College. Campbell follows him. Somerville is up there too, but Campbell now steps to the front. And Michael Campbell comes through for the win. 10.42 ahead of Mickish Compton of GC Foster College. 10.42 the flash time for Michael Campbell. 10.46 is the official time, which is the second fastest time overall today. Compton, 10.62 for GC Foster College in second. 10.46 for Campbell Compton, 10.62 Compton from St. Vincent and the Grenadines comes through for second. as those are the official top two so far in terms of times being accredited. Heat number three of the men's 100 meters completed. Right, so a lot of persons here from the track and field fraternity coming out. And 7.93, Sean Lee Thompson, the man leading the long jump as we speak. And the heat four of the men's 100 meters coming up. The Turks and Caicos athletes are representing GC Foster College. Darren Perrett from GC Foster College and Turks and Caicos. Romel Sewell from MPP in two. The Turkey representative. Emery Barnes. Elite Chuck Club. Former Winston Barnes. We have Nishan Ibang from MVP in four. Javani Davis from Legacy in five. Tajal Duffus from St. Jago in six. Off and running, there are six competitors in this race. Britta from GC Foster College has the lead. Clive Elson up there. In the middle now, it is Barnes who comes through with the win. 10.39. The man formerly known as Winston Barnes, now Emery Barnes. 10.39 is the flash time. Time adjusted now to 10.44, which is the second fastest time overall today. Emery Barnes with the win in this heat four of the men's 100 meters. We'll tell you in a short while the athletes who are through to the A final and those who will contest the B final a little later on here. But Barnes coming through with the win there as you see in your uh, replay. Also in progress, Shadi Lawrence in the women's discuss. She's out front, 56.28 meters. Samantha Hall, 55.59. Those are the competitors so far in the women's discuss. So heat five coming up and Emre Barnes 10.44, Javani Davis 10.65, Jace with a third 10.79. Your top three there in that fourth heat of the men's 100 meters. So six competitors facing the starter here in this fifth heat. We have Daniel Austin, UTEC, Jaheem Jones, Camper Down, Shamir Cooper, Swept Track Clubs, Junior Harrison Four, Javoy Tucker Dynamic Speed Track Club in five, and Javal Wright of Uimona in six. On their marks. Set and uh, 
We see the man from Tok from Dynamic Chat Club. Looks have jumped the gun, but we'll await the official decision from the officials. That looked beyond eight meters, but the flag is red as we get back to the 100. Right, so on track. you will head back to the start for this fifth heat in the men's 100 meters. Just to tell you that if you have just joined us, we are at the Velocity Fest 15 here at the JC Aschenhain Stadium. Athletes seeking their qualifying standards for international events to come and other events as well. So they go to their marks again. For this men's heat five, 100 meters. And of course, Javoy Tucker has been disqualified out of lane five for a false start. So it's now five competitors facing the starter. And on their marks, off and running, the man from Camperdown gets up well, but they have been called back again. So, having seen Javoy Tucker being disqualified, in the meantime, it's back to the we'll wait to, the to see if Still someone has also the broke the law there a while ago. Looks as if the man from Camperdown might be in trouble from our vantage point. I might be wrong. Yes, indeed. Jaheem Jones disqualified. Representing Camperdown High. So yes, there are two athletes now who are now disqualified from this race. First, they have Javoy Tucker from Dynamic Track Club, and now Jaheem Jones from Camperdown. So it's now down to four competitors. In this men's 100 meters heat five. On their marks again. Third time of asking, all is well. Austin from UTEC. On the outside there, it is uh, Wright. Also in between there, it is Harris. Coming through now for the win, the man from lane six, Javal Wright from Uimona. 10.65, 10.70. The official time for the man from UWI, Javal Wright. 10.72 for Junior Harris from Swept. These athletes are looking at the B and C finals for later on. And Uimona's Tucker with the win. Heat five. Of course, in a short one. Moving on to heat six. Men's 100 meters. The official times here Javel Wright 10.70, Juna Harris 10.72, and Daniel Austin 11.02. The men's a shot put also in progress. Adin Richards, World Championship bronze medalist, all the way back in 2015, leads with 18.11 meters. They're in the sixth and final round. Moses Parkinson of GC Foster College is in seventh. Moving on to heat six. And the junior, Shaquan Dunn. Jalen Barrett Bennett was listed for heat for lane two. He's not there. David Buckham, who is representing Swept, he's a Canadian. 
He's in three. MVP is Mario Williams in four. In five is Michael Stevens from Racers. In six is Mazino Barrett of Dewey Mona. In seven is Osa Akil Blair from Legacy. Osa Akil Blair, he's from Guyana. And Demar George Paul Stevenson out of St. George's College. He's out there in lane eight. So seven will face the starter here in this sixth heat of the men's 100 meters. So it's a cool evening here at Jamaica College. And it's a wonderful time for track and field. Good weather. Off and running. Bokham gets up well. On the outside, there is a man from St. George's College. In the middle is Marzina Barrett of Uimona. He steps now through to the front and comes through with the win. 10.58. Ten point six zero for Mazino Bart, Stevens second, ten point seven one. Michael Stevens, ten point seven one. Michael Stevens and Williams ten point eight zero for Mario Williams from MVP. Your top three there in the men's one hundred meters heat number six. Mazino Bart with the win as you see in your replay. Took charge at about sixty meters, held through to form. Holding off Michael Stevens for the win. So 10.60 still in with a shot, but no guarantee that it will be good enough to get into the A final. The competitors holding those A final qualifying positions. Taekwondo Trinity 10.41, Emre Barnes. They are as much as 11 heats in this men's 100 meters. So you'll be seeing a lot of chopping and changing in terms of who will actually make it through to the A final, who will contest the B final, and who will contest also a C final. Next event on the track will be heat number seven. The man who is leading the long jump, Emmanuel Archibald of Swept, the Guyanese is in four. Playing buckle of UWR. Men's 100 meters. A second Guyanese, he represents Racer Strap Club. Kevon Doran Benjamin in one. Kevin Campbell of GC Portugal. Odaria Phillips from MVP in two. Corin Griffith of Racers in three. Emmanuel Archibald of Swept Track Club from Guyana in four. Corin Griffith, the man in three from Barbados. Blaine Buckle, Yui Mona in five. Shamar Horatia, another guy in easy, is in six. And uh, we have Dermaine Damari Campbell in seven. Along with Kareem Solomon. They are off and running. Never break. Trying to sort themselves out in the middle. Griffiths from Racers. Emmanuel from Swept. He steps away from the field and comes through with the win in 10.26. Here's the flash time. 10.28, which is the fastest time so far today. Emmanuel Archibald from Guyana, representing Yui Mona. Griffiths, second. 10.56 for Kuran Griffith from Barbados. Horatio, the second Guyanese in the event, he is third. 10.59, saw your replay. And Emmanuel Archibald out of sweat. Running a personal best there and comes through with the win. Let's go to the eight heat of the men's 100 meters. Lane one will have within color of Dynamic Speed Track Club. Lane two, McKinnon Woods 
Jamaica College by way of Trinidad and Tobago. Lane three, Wayne McPherson of Dynamic Speed. Lane four, Mikolai Edwards. We move on to heat number eight. Lane five, in this man's 100 meters. Lane six, Ramon Barswell, MP. Hodin Lane seven, David Tomlinson. From Dynamic Speed. Macalene Isaiah Randall Woods. He is representing Jamaica College. Completing unattached. In three, it's Wayne McPherson, Dynamic. In four is Elites Mike Kiley Everett. In five is Aubrey Allen of Legacy. In six is Ramon Barnswell of MVP. David Tomlinson of GC Foster in seven. And out there in lane eight, Malik Dante Cardice. He's unattached. He's from Jamaica. As they are called to their marks, Heat eight. In the set position, they're off and running. Banswell gets up well. Allen trying to follow him. McPherson too. But Banswell is holding on. And Banswell will come through to the win. In a flash time of 10.40. 10.44. Everett second, 10.52. Barnesville coming through there for the win. He's one of the representatives who will represent Jamaica at next week's 10 relays in Philadelphia in the Global Relay Series, formerly known as the USA versus Rest of the World Series. But Barnesville with the win there, 10.44. He'll wait to see if that time will take him through. To the A final for men a little later on. That was Heat 8. Heading on to Heat 9. The men's 100 meters. Heat 9 coming up. Kashin Green, MVP in one. Kaishan Thomas from Yacht Motorcade in two. Javari Thomas from Dynamic in three. Nikoi Drummond from Swept in four. Jordan Morgan from GC Foster College in five. Brand Level from Optimum in six. Former Eden Allen star. Zanil Curran from MVP in seven. And Gregory Matthew Williams from Dynamic Speed Track Club in lane number eight. So Brand Level, all eyes will be on him. Former man from Eden Allen. Now representing Optimum Track Club as they go to their marks. A full field. In fact, it's seven who are facing the starter. They're off and running. Drummond up there. Level steps up to the front. Running very well is Thomas. Thomas and Level. Level is coming through to take the win. 10.32 for Brand Level. 10.38 for Brand Level. The second fastest time so far today. And basically a foot in the men's A final a little later on. Drummond second, 10.48. Nikoi Drummond from Swept. Here's their replay. As Level and Thomas stepped away from the pack, separated themselves. And that's how they crossed the line in this men's 100 meters, heat number nine. The wind didn't help them out in that heat, negative 1.7. That was 
So we head into heat number 10 of 11. The man, the men's 100 meter seat number 10. And lane number five, representing dynamic speed, is Shawnee Smith. Lane six, the Antigua. Benjamin Berry from Striders in one. Lane seven, Clinton. Ashawn Yarshi Green from Dynamic Track Club in two. Javon Dunkley from Elite in three. Yurik Dean, RK Athletics in four. Dynamic Speed, Ashani Romain Smith in five. Darian Kasimi Skerritt of Titans. Clayton uh, Anthony Dennis from Michael in seven, and uh, John Thomas from Camperdown in eight. Your list of competitors for the men's 100 meters, heat number 10. They're off the and uh, recalled. recalled. And uh, six facing the starter for this event. And we'll await the official ruling on this race. But it's heat 10 of the men's 100 meters here at the Velocity Fest 15. Activity is taking place as well in the men's long jump. We are in round Discuss five. as well. Seven point nine four is the leading time so far. Man from down the islands, Archibald. Seven point nine four is the leading time in the men's long jump so far. Call back to their marks. Five facing the starter. Segree out there in two. Beside him is Dunkley, formerly of Stets, now of Elite in three. He gets up well. Romain Smith steps to the front. So too Skerritt. But Dunkley now steps to the front. And Dunkley crosses the line in front in 10.33 the flash time. Javorn Dunkley, the winner. Shani Segree, second, 10.44. And 10.66 for Darian Kazmin Skerritt from Antigua. So your winner there, Javorn Dunkley. Coming out with victory here, 10.34. In the men's 100 meters, heat number 10. There's a replay. Michael Campbell also has a 10.46, but he's outside the top eight. He is 0.456. Simmons was 0.455. All the information available on the roster athletics app, but we still have one heat to come in the men's 100 meters. And there are a couple of men who should be in the top eight. Here's the lineup. Lane number one, Demar Sales, MVP. Lane two, Giovanni White, Motorcade. So we head to the 11th and final heat here in the men's 100 meters here at the Velocity Fest. And we have Damar Scales, MVP in one, Javin White, Motorcade in two, Jazeel Murphy, remember him, former Bridgeport runner, had some injuries for years, coming back. He's in three, Tevin Hyman from GG Foster College in four, Sandra Davison, the lanky man formerly of St. Catherine High, Odin Abraham Crooks from New Era, and Devon Lysight from Pelicans, and Sean Bran from UTech, your list of competitors. And it's a loaded field here. 
for the start of the men's 100 meters heat number 11 here at the velocity fest glory and the athletes will be running with the sunshine in their faces and uh, there's a recall here in this event the men's 100 meters heat 5 eat 11 so I beg your pardon we'll be able to confirm the top eight who will all make it through to the a final this evening to extend his lead by one centimeter this is a high quality event persons can come with their season's best we're leading etc And a yellow card shown to Sandry Davison. So, in a sense, a yellow card shown to the entire field. They're off this time and call back again. This men's 100 meters heat number 11 to the south of Jamaica College. There is your man from GC Foster College competing. This is the men's long jump. In your screen so we gather there's a disqualification here in heat number 11 we'll tell you that in a short while as they go to their marks yet again for this men's 100 meters so it's Odin Abraham Crooks from New Era. He's a man who has been disqualified. So it's now seven who will face a starter. We're going. We might not leave here this evening. Men's 100 meters. Faster than 1046. Is what is required to get into the top eight. There were the three finals, A, B, and C, 1 to 8, 9 to 16, 17 to 14. So they go to their marks again. They're now in the top 24. You don't get a second run. But coming through for the win, Jazeel Murphy was up there too, but Sanjay Davison with the win. 10.35, he makes it into the A final. Jazeel Murphy comes through for second, 10.41. So Jazeel Murphy shows as if he's getting back to some sort of form. There is your replay here. Davison all alone. Murphy there in lane three, coming through. Oh, here we go. Emmanuel and the kept. Sanjay Davison honest final. in that race. Sanjay Davison, 10.35 will be in the A final. Let's give you that eight. Emmanuel Archibald, 10.28. Sanjay Davison, 10.35. Javorn Dunkley, 10.36. Brian Level, 10.38. Taekwenda Tracy, 10.41. Jaleel Murphy, 10.41, Emre Barnes, 10.44. So, the eighth, the eighth and final spot in the eighth final, Ramon finalists Barnes, this evening in the men's 100 meters are as follows. Emmanuel Archibald out of Guyana, the fastest time, 10.28. You just saw Sanjay Davison logging 10.35. 10 Second fastest, Javorn Dunkley, elite. Third fastest, 10.36. Brand level, 
Taekwondo Tracy, 10.41. Jazeel Murphy, 10.41 as well. Emre Barnes, Elite, 10.44. And Romain Baron Barnswell, he runs out the top eight. 10.44. Your eight finalists a little later on in the men's 100 meters. Again, Emmanuel Archibald, Sandre Davison, Javorn Dunkley, Brian Level, Taekwondo Tracy, Jazeel Murphy, Emre Barnes, Ramon Barneswell, and Ashani Romain Smith. 24 to get one more run. Here at the last, the best of 15. Those who are on the B final, Earl Simmons, GC Foster College, 10.46. Michael Campbell, MVP, 10.46. Javari Thomas, Dynamic Speed, 10.49. O'Shane Bailey, 10.52. Of Sprint Tech, Rashid Foster from Michael, 10.52. Michaela Everett from Elite, 10.52. And Kuron Griffith from Racer from Barbados, 10.56. Your competitors who will contest the B final in the men's 100 meters. And there's also a C final. Shamar Horatio, 10.59. From Racers, Yui Monas, Mazina Bard, 10.60. Makesh Compton from GC Foster, 10.62. Jamoni Davis from Legacy, 10.65. Dorian Phillips from MVP, 10.65. Dorian Skerritt from Titans, 10.66. Javel Wright, Yui Mona, 10.70. And Michael Stevens, 10.71. Those are your competitors who will contest the C final a little later on. So, just to tell you, that the final placings in the men's discuss, Obiagiri Pamela Amarchi, of the women's discuss, 57.29, the winner, Samantha Hall from MVP, she took second in 56.98 meters. And uh, Shade Lawrence from Reckless Control, she takes third place, 56.82. Janelle Montague from GC Foster, fourth, the personal best, 48.65. Shamela Donaldson from Uemona, fifth, 47.79. Najeda Seymour from Excelsior, Finishing sixth for the seven point five seven. Victoria Christie from Reckless Control for the four point six six a season's best for her. And the top eight finish rounded out by Brenna Monty for the point nine eight. So the winner is Obiagiri Pamela Amachi from Nigeria for the winning throw in the women's discus event. Winning throw fifty seven point two nine meters. Emmanuel Archibald from Swept Track Club and Guyana. He's leading in the men's long jump as we speak with a leap of 7.95 meters. In second place currently is Sean D. Thompson with a season's best, 7.93. In third place, it's David Tomlinson of GC Foster, 7.40, a personal best for him. Savoy McLeod, 7.26, he's in fourth place. Personal best, 7.26. Javon Parkinson from GC Foster, he has 7.22 meters. Tiki Butler from Uimona, 6.61. Jamar Reed from UTEC, 6.11. And Javon Hansen, the top eight, 5 points. The standing so far in the men's long jump. Emmanuel Archibald leading with a leap of 7.95 meters. College, the Vincentian, Amberton, in the men's long jump.
800 meters. And as we await the start of that event, let's get some music in the meantime, in the tea time. There are a number of competitors listed, mostly students or student athletes. Of course, most of them, they're gearing up to represent their respective schools at the pen relays next weekend this time. Men's 800 meters on track. Lane number six, Tyrone Dawson and Mary Amberton of Jamaica College. Lane seven, Rashid Fight and Samuel Query of Jamaica College. And they're also lane number eight, Lamaria Vance of Rayson. So we have lane seven and Woodhouse of so far. And uh, lane number two, Christoph Wilson of uh, MGT. So Javante Montague of UTEC in lane number two alongside Right, so uh, we are having the athletes on the track and uh, for this 800 meters. We have Derwin Woodhouse from Racers, he's listed. Christoph Wilson from MVT, Devontae. They're off and running. For the men's 800 meters, it's a credit trio. There isn't a 10 of them in the lineup. For Jamaica College. So it's Coming around for the first straight in this 800 meters. Right in there as well, the Wilkinson leads the pack. Also out there it is. Samuel Query, top seen himself in the fourth place, passing the bell lap. And going around Amberton still leads from Jamaica College. And they approach the back straight for the final time. Samuel Query now steps up. Amberton on his shoulder is the man Samuel Query. Who is faced by Amberton. Of course, Samuel Query, he had an outstanding voice chance for Jamaica College. And they step away from the field, the top two. Coming around now, Samuel Query. Into the straight they come. Samuel Query, he leads. Query steps to the front. And uh, Query is coming through. Here he comes. 153.91. And, uh, and of course, they're sharing up and shoring up for next week's pen relays in Philadelphia. So 
for Samuel Creary. He won two events in class two. Was your replay here, Samuel Creary? Looking good for Jamaica College. We expect to send a strong team to the Pen Relays next week. One fifty-three in time for Samuel Creary. One fifty-four eighty-four for right. One fifty-four eighty-four for right. One fifty-six. Akil Wright. We had Price third, one fifty six fourteen. Rashid Price Mr. also of Jamaica Mr. College took third place there. Lamario the the Akil Wright from Racers, he split the JC duo for second place. They, they lost the first 15 from the JC Ashen Hines Stadium. And of course, you're in tune to Sky Vision TV, Sports TV, bringing to you coverage of this world class event here at the JC Ashen Hines Stadium. And uh, with that, you're not missing any action. We'll take a break. We'll be back in a short while. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl, Shafika Maloney, your 800-meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you KFC. And thank you in advance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there.
Hi, Sim Vincent and the Grenadines. This is your girl Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC Sim Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you, KFC. And thank you in advance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there.
Tribe Vision TV. We are here for the Velocity Fest 15 at the JD Attenheim Stadium and currently on the way is the women's 400 meter hurdle. We have Emily Brady and uh, Rihanna Lewis, your competitors in this event. And Brady with the lead from UTEP. She's coming around. And Brady coming into the straight, Annalise Brady. On our outside is Deaja Harris, also of UTEC. Both of them from UTEC. She'll try to make a, com a competition of this, Harris. But they have Annalise Brady from UTEC coming home. 103.05. The time there. One minute zero three point zero nine. Lanes three, four, six, seven, and eight. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot.
With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you KFC. And thank you in advance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. Welcome back to the Veloxi Fest 15 here at the Jamaica College Ashenheim Stadium. And of course, we're in seeing to Stride Vision TV, Sport TV. And next event is the men's 400 meter hurdles. Among your competitors for this event, we have Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl, Shafiq. Jamar Morris. We have Tyrese Hyman from MVP. Omari Stewart from Michael. Zachary Chamberlain from, well, he's running unattached. As well as Ruburn Rakim Walker. Um, it looks as if we have a depleted field here in this men's 400 meter hurdle.
Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Mika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you, KFC. And thank you in advance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon.
Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you, KFC. And thank you in advance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Standing by for the women's 400 meters. Set. In this event, we have Richards from GC Foster. Up they go for the women's 400 meters. We have Geneva Russell, Russell former world junior champion. Over 400 Germany. hurdles. Chant Salmon, the former Heidel star, is in this event as well, running very well on the back straight, approaching the 250 mark. Russell steps up. So the two four hurdlers going at it. Russell takes charge. On her outside is Salmon. Salmon try to stay on the shoulders of Russell. They are coming into the straight. Russell on the inside. Salmon on the outside. These two will battle it out in the final few meters. Salmon now. Russell holding on, Russell fighting, Salmon is closing, coming down to the wire, very close, Russell holds on though for the win, 52.10 is the flash time, 52.13 is the winning time for Genevieve Russell, 52.14 for Shan Salmon. In second, Richards third, 55.04, Amika Richards from GC Foster College with the third place finish in this event. Here's your replay. Both of them were going, fighting for the line. Russell held on by a step to take the event. Official time now, 52.13 for Russell, Salmon 52.14, Richards 55.04, and Horatia Champagne 56.48. While that is... The only section in the women's 400 meters, there will be five sections here for the men. And so far we have four competitors in this first heat. Women of course, you're at, you should be at the call room. 
the velocity of the fest 15 here at the JC Ashenheim Stadium and you're in tune to Stride Vision TV, Sports TV. A cool evening here at the JC Ashenheim Stadium. Tisana Hicklin was leading the women's long jump earlier, continuing to hold on to that lead. As we head into the first heat of the men's 400 meters. They are off and running. And going around is the branch from JC. Down the back stretch they go, nothing separating them. And it's stage. close going so far. Appears to be white from Michael Gibson of MVP taking control as they go to 200 meters. Optimum that coming around. Optimum in lane number three. Jamar White as they get ready to transition coming into the straight. McLean on the outside. Ferguson from Stradders too. Jamar but Jamar White is looking good for Optimum. He's driving home to take the event in 48.70. The flash time for Jamar White from Optimum Track Club. 48.72 is the winning time. For Jamar McLean second, 50.01. Quinton McLean from Michael. And 51.23 for Jabari Branch from Jamaica College. Section two, final D. If you're on the roster athletics app. Lane two, Dejean Grant from Jamaica College by William Diana. Lane three, Jamil Young, Michael. Lane four, Martino Williams, Camperdown. Lane 5, Jamari, J Jamari James, Kingston College. Lane number 6, Ashim Daniel. So we are on to section 2. That's the lineup for the second section of the men's the men's 400 meters. We have Dejon Grant from Jamaica College. There is... Jamil Young from Michael. Martina Williams from Camper Down. Shamarai Jennings from Kingston College. Ashim Daniel from GC Foster. Your competitors in this men's 400 meters. Section 2 here at the Velocity Fest 15 on Stride Vision TV. Away they go, and uh, the man from Michael steps to the front. Camper Downs Williams running very well too. The man from GC Foster Daniel Martino Williams of Camper Down trying to stay with Daniel from GC Foster College. Stepping up now is Grant from Jamaica College, going around at 200 meters. Camper Downs with Martino Williams trying to stay in the picture. Grant from Jamaica College steps forward. On the outside is Daniel from GC Foster. In between them is Martino. Williams of Camperdown is stepped to the front now. And uh, Williams from Camperdown is looking good. Martino Williams strides to the front and takes it in 48.25. In the second section of the men's. 400 meters, 48.27, 48.77 for Daniel from GC Foster, 49.09 for Grant from Jamaica College, here's your replay, Williams from Camperdown found a burst of speed in the last 50 meters and separated himself from the field to take the event, section 2. Of five in the men's 400 meters here at Velocity Fest. 
15 at the JC Ashen Hines Stadium. Romero Nation of GP Foster College in lane one. Russian Foxley of Sanchego in two. Kemar Davis, Dynamic Speed Track Club in lane number two. Andre Dakers, GP On to Foster section College three of five, Marcus the men's 400 meters. Unattached in five, Marcus Hutchinson. Looks to be Michael five competitors so far. Rochelle Lee, competing unattached in lane number seven and Antonio Ford, lane number eight. Antonio Forbes from Kingston College. He will run out there in, a, in lane seven. Behind him is Roshan Lee on a touch. Then there's Marcus Hutchinson from Michael. Lavar Berrick. Andre Dekas. Kamar Davis. Look to the man out there in lane Seven from Kingston College, Antonio Forbes. Set. On their marks, in the set position. Off and running. Lee and Forbes and Dakers. Davis on the back straight. Hutchinson from Michael. Up there. Roshan Lee and Antonio Forbes out there. Roshan Lee and Hutchinson. Coming around in the straight is Marcus Hutchinson from Michael. Will we see a burst from Antonio Forbes or Roshan Lee? Forbes is looking good. Hutchinson rather looking good. Hutchinson is gonna take the event in 47.69 of our Beric and Lee 47.73 Beric second 48.11 Lavar Beric and then finishing in a third position Antonio Forbes at 48.14. And Forbes faded down into fifth or fourth. In fact, he faded right out of the race as the, the man from Michael comes through with the win. Lane one, Rashin Semista, Jamaica College. Lane two, Dante Gordon, Dynamic Speed. Lane three, Najin Mikkel, UTEP. Lane four, Tyrese Evans. GP Foster College, lane five. All right, so onto heat four. And this looks to be a full field. Roshin Simista. From Jamaica College, he runs from lane one. Dante Gordon from Dynamic Speed Track Club in two. Najee Mikhail from UTEC in three. Tyrese Sebanks, GC Foster College. Jalen Diet and Derenik Luke, your competitors, six facing the starter. As they go to their marks. No competitors in lane seven, none in lane eight as well. They're off and running. And uh, Diet from MVP steps to the front. Tyrese Ebanks. Najee Mikhail from UTEC up there too. But it's the man from MVP, Diet. Luke meters. trying to fight and remain in contention for GC Foster. Coming around at the 200 meter mark. Coming around at the top curve. Luke from GC Foster College. The Into the straight they meters. come. It's Ibanks. And uh, from GC Foster College. They are battling for the top two places. And Denik Luke comes through for the win. Or the 
for Denik Luke ahead of Jalen Diet from MVP. 46.45 is the winning time for Denik Luke. Was at the Tokyo Olympic Games for Dominica over 800 meters. He's looking to return for Paris. Denik Luke left it late, and here he comes on the outside for GC Foster College, driving forward to take the win ahead of Jalen Diet from MVP. And that was the fourth and penultimate section of the men's 400 meters here at the Velocity Fest 15 on Stride Vision TV. The Dominican showing fine form and the heat takes over the number one position now with one section to come in the men's 400 meters. The lineup for the A race in the men's 400 meters. Lane one, Paul Henry, new, new era. Lane two, Emma Vesco. The Vincentian from Kingston College. Lane three, Kino Morel Titan. Lane four, the Bohemian Wendell Miller representing MVP. Lane five, Terry Thomas of Titan. Lane six, Javier Brown races. Lane number seven, Asini Wilson of Titan. And lane number eight, so we have another feel here for the final event, the 400 meters. We have Paul Henry from New Era. And also there we have Wendell Miller, Terry Thomas. Javier Brown, Sheena Wilson, Tyler Harper. Your competitors. Set. Set position. And uh, there could be a false start. There could be a false start. I think I saw someone jump the gun. There is a replay of the start. Maybe my eyes are fooling me, but we'll await and see the official decision. Both the officials. We are seeing a red car coming out. And uh, red card Paul Henry, comes out for Paul for Henry. Disqualified. So it's now down to seven in the field. This is the A race of the men's 400 meters. In the set position. Off they go this time, and uh, getting up very well is Asini Wilson out there in lane seven. Asini Wilson running very well, Javier Brown of Racers, he's running very well. Terry Thomas trying to step up to the party, going around at 200 meters. Asini Wilson from Titans, he's holding on strong. Terry Thomas and the others trying to close with a blanket. On the inside there is Burrell. And Burrell grabs the lead. Into the straight they come. Asini Wilson trying to hold on. Miller from MVP. And is going down to the wire. 45.67. For the man from Titans, Kino Miller. 45.69, the winning time. A, a big time here today from Burrell. Sub 46 here this evening at the Veloster Fest. With a massive effort here in the men's 400 meters, finally goes below 46 seconds. 
Holding off Asini, Wilson will mid most of the running today. But your winner here. Wendell Miller, 45.69. Second, Asini Wilson, 46.07. And Glasgow, third, 46.44. With Javier Brown, fourth, 46.97. And that is the completion of the 400 meters this evening. And of course, we are at the Velocity Fest 15 on Trivision TV. We take a break. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl, Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you, KFC. And thank you in advance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon.
Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you KFC. And thank you in advance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. All right, welcome back to the Lost Fest 15 here at the JT Aschenheim Stadium. And we are on to the women's 200 meters. It appears to be two sections. We have Shana K. Anderson from UTEC, Hannah Ball, or Hannah Bell from Racers out of United Kingdom, Tashika Cameron of Elite, Rochelle Clayton, two-time bronze medalist, over 400 hurdles at the World Championship. Angelina Ferguson, Dynamic, and Sherman Lee Freeman, Michael. Your competitors, off and running. And Clayton looks good as ready as she go around at the top curve, coming into the straight. Now, Rochelle Clayton steps to the front. And on her outside is Freeman and Henry. From Titans, they now step to the front, Anderson, and it's now coming through with the win. Anderson, Anderson 24.00 with the win. Shana K. Anderson with the win from UTEC. Rochelle Clayton. 24.06, she made a lot of the running. Henry was third, 24.54. And we saw Rochelle Clayton. 
As you see Aripe here in the middle, Shanaki Anderson. Coming through with the win. Anderson 24-0-0, Rochelle Clayton 24-0-6, Sori Amoy Henry 24-5-4, and Angelina Ferguson 25.59. Your finishers there in that first 200 meters. Standing by for section two. Trying to get the names for you. Medical team needed at the 150 meter mark. Medical team needed at the 150 meter mark. We have the likes of Stacey and Williams from Elite Track Club. She is in this event. There is Magdalena Lindner, out of Austria, running unattached. She's there. Stacian Williams is looking good on the outside there. Ashley Williams is running very well too. And Ashley Williams is coming through to the win. Ashley takes it ahead of Stacian Williams. 23.22 for Ashley Williams out of Sprintec. Coming through with the win here ahead of Stacey and Williams. Of course, Stacey and Williams of 400 meters fame. And of course, these athletes using these events for speed work mostly. But Ashley Williams on the inside. And Stacey and Williams on the outside there. So the time adjusted to 23.26 for Ashley Williams. And 3.26. And to 200 meters, measuring her 23.45. 23.27. It's her personal best. Stacey and Williams second, 23.50. And Shana K. Anderson, who won that first section, dropped down to 24. Seconds flat. 23.50 for Stacey and Williams. And 24.64 for... The men's event is next. On the track. There appears to be five of, this one. of four sections Section in this one. men's event, Lane 200 one meters. So we should have loaded fields here for the Insolo from Dynamic. Hashim Green of MVP, Gregory Williams from Dynamic, Rashane McLeod, Titans, Javoy Tucker, Dynamic, David Bokham from Swept, and uh, we also have Abushuni Rashid Segri in this event. There are four sections in this event, 200 meters. And it's also Ashley Williams winning with her personal best, the women's event, 23.27 seconds. On their marks in the set position, off and running, a loaded field, level break. Coming around at the 150 meter mark. On the outside there, it's Buckham, Tucker, McLeod into the straight. 
McLeod, Williams coming through. Blanket finish, 21.77 for your winner, David Buckham. Winning the event, 21.80. Emil Gordon second, 21.94. And Roshan McLeod taking third spot. David Buckham with the win out of Canada. Here's a replay. 21.96 for Roshan McLeod in third. So the official listing, Buckham with the win, 21.80. Second, Emil Gordon from UTEP, 21.94. And Roshane Jason McLeod, third, 21.96. Okay. This is section two of the men's 200 meters. We have Clinton Anthony Simmons, Blaine Buckle, second, in lane two actually, Jordan Morgan G.C. Foster in three, Ashini Smith from Dynamic, Jane John Barn, G.C. Foster College, Yorick Dean, RK Athletics, Nicole German Swept, Paul Henry, New Era. Off and running, it's a level break. And uh, Buckle, Morgan, we have Smith coming around at the top curve, coming into the straight on the outside, there is Henry, into the straight they come, and it looks to be Smith, Zanjan Barnes, Shani Smith, and Barnes, Smith is stepping away to take the event, 20.76. Big run there from Ashani Smith from Dynamic Speed Track Club, 20.80. Negative 0 0.87 is the win speed. And uh, Ashani, 20.80, a personal best for him. Out of Dynamic Speed Track Club. Zanjan Barnes, second, 21.26. And third is Paul Henry. 21.32. What a run from Ashani Smith. Big personal best for him. 20.80. Holding off the challenge from Zanjan Barnes. 21.26. And third, and uh, we have Paul Henry third. 21.32. Your next competitor, section three, Java Wright, Yui Mona, Wayne McPherson Dynamic, Adain McPherson, GC Foster, Dita Clark, RK Athletics, Javon White from GC Foster. Javon Dunkley from Elite, Javoni Davis from Legacy, and Darian Kazmin Skerritt from Titans. As they go to their marks again for this section. Three. And it looks as if Dido Clark has been scratched from the event from RK Athletics. Off and running is a level break. And uh, Dunkley Davis coming around in the inside is Javon White from GC Foster. He stepped into the lead. Beside him, it's uh, McPherson also of GC Foster College. On the outside, it's uh, Davis. But holding on is Javonny White to take the event. 20.96 is the flash time for. The man from GC Foster, 20.97 is the flash time, is the official time. Second, going to Darian Kazmin Skerritt from Titans, 21.09 with Davis third. But Javon White from GC Foster College with a smart 20.97 seconds in a negative 0 0.5 win reading in this section three of the men's 200 meters.
personal best of twenty point nine six. And we are on to the main race, the main 200 meters race, section A, or the A race. We have Jaheen WC of GC Foster College, Chad Miller of Hercules Wimbledon AC, Tyler Harper from Royal City Athletics Club, Jarvari Thomas from Dynamic Speed Truck Club. We have Jazeel Murphy. We saw him earlier in the 100 meters. He's there. Buwaji Nkrumi. Remember that name from the man from Kingston College last year who became the first schoolboy in Jamaica to run sub 10, 9.99, testing the 200 meters this year at this stage. Taekwondo Tracy and Michael Sharp, your competitors. This is the A race of the men's 200 meters. Here at the Velocity Fest 15 on Stride Vision TV. Coming to you from the JC Aschenheim Stadium. In the set position, Jeff off Robert and running. Sharp the out there, lane eight. Closing in the middle, there is Murphy and the Michael Sharp. In the middle, there is Buwaji and Kumi on the outside. Can he step forward? Running very well is Sharp from GC Foster College on the outside. In the middle, here is Jazeel Murphy. He steps to the front now to take the event in 20.55 seconds. Jazeel Murphy looks to be finding back some form, 20.59, the official time. Second is Sharp, 20.78. Third is Thomas, 20.93, all below 21 seconds. The first three dipping below the 21 seconds in this event. Murphy and Javari Thomas were battling on the outside. Two was Michael Sharp, and Kumi was left back. And coming through with the win, 20.59 is a season best. Jazeel Murphy, 20.59. Michael Sharp, second season best, 20.78. Javari Thomas, 20.93. Bowaji and Krumi, 421.22. And then we have Jaheem Dursi, 21.57. With Chad Miller, 21.59. And Tyler Harper, who did not start. The 100 meter hurdles final for men coming up next, and that will be followed by the series of 100 final point races in the 100 meters, two on the women's side. And so, on the men's that's the completion side. of the men's 200 meters. We'll head over to the hurdles in a short while. We have the 110 meter hurdles for men, and that will be followed by the women's 100 meter hurdles. Triple jump final in progress for men as well. We'll get you updated with uh, some of the field events in short order. Mm -hmm. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you KFC. And thank you in advance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope 
that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl, Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you, KFC. And thank you in advance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat, ready to eat with a spoon.
front at the JC Ashton Hines Stadium and you're not missing any action. We just had the completion of the 200 meters and the next event coming up will be the men's 110 meter hurdles. And as you see on your screen, uh, they are preparing the track for that event. We should be having six competitors lining up for this event. Immediately following this, we'll be heading straight over to the women's 100 meter hurdles. And then we'll be closing out the day's activities with section A, B and C finals in the 100 meters for both genders. So keep it tuned in here on Stripe Vision TV. And uh, of course, just to tell you that we have some results for you. We know the javelin throw was currently on the way earlier. And Brianna Monteith, Kendra Gale and uh, Jeannie Pitt were the competitors in that event. The triple jump for men was on the way as well. And uh, the event won by Sean D. Thompson with a personal best 15.93 meters ahead of Siobhan Parkinson from GC Foster College. Of course, Sean D. Thompson from Sprintec. He won 15.93 meters. Siobhan Parkinson from GC Foster, 14.91. On O'Brien Bowen taking third place, 14.91. Kesson Rooms Cornwall, 14.39 for fourth. And Chauvinet McLeod from GC Foster, fifth. 14.24, your winner of the men's triple jump, Sean D. Thompson. Yes, the same Sean D. Thompson of long jump fame. He won the triple jump with a leap of 15.93, representing Sprint Tech. And uh, we also had some results earlier. We know we got information that Frederick Dakers, he had a, world, uh, uh, a season's leading 64, 94 meters in the discus event. 64.94 meters for Frederick Dakers, a season's best effort for him in winning the men's discus. He's the 2019 World Championship silver medalist, looking to get back to those heights. Shad Wright was second, 61.98 meters, with Shaquan Dunn third, 54.20, representing Jamaica College now unattached. The boys' champs winner. Frederick Dakers, your winner of the men's discuss, 64.94 meters. Today's event started with competition for Paralympic athletes. For para athletes, of course, they are having a program this week. The GAPS program gather, adjust. Sustained program. Of course, today was a final activity for them. The GAPS program. And then we head into the heats of the 100 meters. And that was followed by the running on the 400 hurdles, the four by 100 meters for school boys and girls open. We had the 400 meters, we had the 200 meters, both men and women. And now we are getting ready for the running of the 110 meter hurdles.
So we are standing by for the one ten meter hurdles. Here at the Velocity Fest 15 at the JC Ashenheim Stadium on Stride Vision TV. Stand by. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you, KFC. And thank you in advance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there. So this is section one of the men's 110 hurdles. Three competitors facing the starter here. We have Bran from MVP, Andre Harris from New Era, and Orlando Phillips also of MVP off and running. Attacking the hurdle first is Brian. Harris follows him. And on the outside there is Phillips. Phillips now goes to the front and Phillips is leading. A couple of flights remaining. Harris and Brian and Harris. Andre Harris with the win. 13.61 for Andre Harris. 13.66 from Andre Harris. 13.97 for Brian and Wellington, 14.51. Negative 0 0.6, the win reading for Andre Orlando Harris in winning this event. In a smart 13.66 seconds. In this first section of the men's 110 meter hurdles. Here at the Velocity Fest 15 at JC Aschenheim Field. So we head to section two, where we are only having two competitors. Odora Phillips from MVP and Norman Peters still also of MVP, two competitors in this event. Second section will have Odoria Phillips of the MVP and Norman Peters here. Is the MVP teammate. Okay. Not certain why <coughs> they didn't just have one race here. Must have their reasons. As the two will go to their marks. Second section of the men's 110 hurdles. Odora Phillips and Norman Pittersfield, both of MVP Track Club.
Nice turnout here today at the JC Ashenheim Stadium for this Velocity Fest to meet. On their marks. In the set position. Off and running. Peter still attacks the hurdles first. Phillips follows him. They are going at it. Hell for leather. Shoulder to shoulder. Phillips takes the lead. And he steps away. Hitting the hurdles hard. But they come through in the end. 13.66. For Odario Phillips. 13.68. Official time for Odario Phillips. 14.19 for Pittersville, negative 0 0.06. Quite competitive at the start of the race. And about mid-race, Odara Phillips began to take charge. And at this stage, he was stepping away. And here he comes, hitting that hard, last hurdle hard, but comes through the win in the end. 13.68, a season's best for him, Odario Phillips from MVP. So that is out of the way. We have the women's 100 meter hurdles to come, but I'm not seeing any starter for this event, so we'll await confirmation if they will be actually having any 100 meter hurdles for women. And I think they're taking the hurdles off the track, so we might not have a, a hurdles for women race here this evening. So I Galadale head straight to the finals, the 100 meters in a short while. We'll be beginning with the women's. There'll be a B final, followed by the A final, and then for the men, we'll be having a C final, a B final, and an A final to close our proceedings here this evening at the Velocity Fest 15 on Stride Vision TV. So, we are standing by for those 100 meter races to close out today's proceedings here at Velocity Fest. Continue to enjoy watching our broadcast on Stride Vision TV. Mama's Old Time Stew Tamarind has the tangy taste of Jamaican tamarind blended with Jamaica's sweet cane sugar, ginger, and rum. It's a delicious treat ready to eat with a spoon. Hi, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's your girl Shafika Maloney, your 800 meter qualifier for the Paris Games this summer. As you know, it hasn't been easy for me, but I just want to thank you for your love and support. It has mean a lot. With that being said, KFC St. Vincent has agreed to join my team and support my journey to the Paris Games this summer. We've created two meals, the Olympic Dream Meal and the 800 meter Warrior Wrap. Once you purchase either meal, $1 automatically goes to my Olympic Fund and helps to fuel my dreams. They've already gotten the ball rolling by donating $5,000 towards my Olympic Fund. Thank you, KFC. And thank you in advance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hope that you would help support this cause. Paris 2024, I'll be there.
for section B of the women's 100 meters. And in lane number eight, 11.29, at her best, representing the MVP track club, Janique Brown. And we and have Canelia Hope from lane one, Karim Streams no, from Henry Austria in two. Three, we have Shoria Henry in three from Titans, Kishana Niles from UTEC. We have Crystal Amoy Morrison, Kristana Williams. Shakoria Wallace and uh, Jenny Brown, the hurdler, they are listed for this event. So there is no Henry out there in three, and there is no Wallace in lane seven from MVP. Six facing the starter. As they're standing behind their blocks, Jenny Brown <coughs> coming back from injury, a hurdler. Of course, using this event to test her speed. Jenny Brown from the MVP Last track club. The the final. Triple jump for men still in progress. Sean D. Thompson with another personal best and meet record 16.26 meters to extend this advantage in the men's triple jump. That came in round number So four. we're winding down, down proceedings here 15, today. 51, 15, 93, 15, At the velocity of the first 15. The last effort in round number five, a foul leads Siobhan Parkinson, 14 As once again, we have Cornelia Hope from Camperdown. She'll run from lane one. Sean Rules of Cornell, 1439, and Savona McLeod of GC Cup Foster College, 1424. There is Karim Strims, or Chamet from Austria. She'll run in two. He's skipping lane three. Head over to lane four. It's Kishan and Nile from UTEC. Crystal Morrison unattached. Kristana Williams. She was a Olympic finalist back in 2016. And uh, Injury has sidelined her for a couple of years. She has a personal best of 10.96 seconds. No doubt on time would be the fastest competitor in the field. Still testing her readiness for com competitiveness as I gather there's a slight technical issue that is holding up the athletes here Stanley Williams looking a little trimmer than in the past looking trimmed St. Mary native and former Erin Allen star. She's in your picture, 253. Ran in the heats earlier, but will only make it to the B final this evening. There is Jenny Brown on the outer lane. She has a personal best, 11.29, over 100 meters. Final for the women's 100 meters, the athletes standing behind their block, they're ready to go. As they continue to sort the technical issues out, the athletes standing behind their blocks.
Yes, they are running a little bit behind time now. They were on track earlier. But this hold up might push it beyond that. And I guess all is well. That ends well. And we are getting ready for the start of this B final of the women's 100 meters here at the Lost Fest 15 on Stride Vision TV here at the JC Ashenheim Stadium on their marks. We have Hope, Shamets, Niles, Morrison, Williams, and Brown on their mark in the set position. Off and running is the level break. Kristana Williams gets up well. Janik Brown tries to stay with her on the outside. On the inside is Shamit and Niles. Niles and Shamit. Niles and Kristana Williams going down to the wire. 11.49 is a flash time. And Kishan and Niles of UTEC with the win. 11.51 is the official time. Williams second, 11.56. And uh, Niles with the win here in section B of the women's 100 meters. 11.56 for Christiana Williams and Morris the third. 11.68. She takes third. 11.69 for Shamit. Personal best for her out of Austria. So 11.51 for Kishana Niles, which will be a personal best for her. 11.51, her personal previous best was 11.54. And there's your replay again. Niles with the win. A final, the women's 100 meters. This promises to be a crack race. The women's 100 meters A final. We have some well known names here. We have a former world honor 20 silver medalist, Serena Cole. She'll run out of lane one. She has a personal best, 11.13. Kashika Cameron, elite, personal best, 11.22. Tina Clayton, 10.95, personal best for her, world on a 20 champion twice. Crystal Slowly, 11.27, a personal best for her from UTEC. Natasha Morrison, the fastest in the field, in 10.85 seconds, a personal best for her. Representing the MVP track club, we have Jadine Williams from Sprint Tech, 11.27, personal best for her. Renisha McGregor, 11.35, a personal best for her. And Ramona Burchell, a personal best, 11.03. A loaded field in this A women's final here at Velocity Fest 15 on Stride Vision TV. They go to their marks. Morrison, the fastest in the field, with a time of 10.85 seconds. Will she get competition from Tina Clinton? Off and running. It's a level break. Who will establish himself first? Morrison up there, slowly testing her. Clayton on the inside as well. And it's going to be a blanket finish. And Ramona Burchell looks to be the winner. 11.27. Very close though, they went to the wire, a blanket finish. And I gather it still being sorted out, it was very close on the wire. Williams with the win. Jodine Williams with the win from Sprint Tech. 11.29. Birchell second, 11.31. 11.31 for Burchell. Here's your replay again. Four in a line, dipping for the line. And the winner, Williams from Sprint Tech. 
Nipping her adversaries on the line, 11.29, Birchall second, 11.31, and slowly third, Natasha Morrison was fifth, 11.43. So, your official times here, Jodine Williams, 11.29, your winner. Ramona Burchell, 11.31 for second. Crystal Slowly, third, 11.33. Tina Clayton, she was fourth, 11.36. Renisha McGregor, she was fifth, 11.41. Natasha Morrison, sixth, 11.43. Kashika Cameron, 11.55. And Serena Cole, 11.76, rounding out that field. That was truly an exciting A final for the women. So we're down to the final three events tonight here at Velocity Fest. And we'll be heading over to section C of the men's 100 meters. We have Michael Stevens in one. Varian Skerritt in two. Mikesh Compton from G.C. Foster out of St. Vincent and Grenadines. He is in three. Mazina Barrett of Dewey Mona in four. Shamar Horatio from Guyana in five. He is representing racers. Javani Davis from Legacy in six. Odario Phillips from MVP in seven. Javal Wright, Dewey Mona in eight. Looks as if only five will face a starter in this section C. Off and running. On the outside is Javal Wright of Uimona, Mazina Barrett, Shamari Horatio into the middle. And on the inside there is Compton down to the wire. Another blanket finish. It looks to be Horatio from Racers with the win. 10.39. The flash time, 10.52 for the Guyanese, Shamar Horatio, with the win, holding off the challenge of Barrett and Davis. Here's a replay, close going until about 85 meters. Wait Horatia stepped forward, dipped on the line for the win. Compton taking third in 10.58, 10.57 for Barrett. And of course your winner, 10.52, Horatia, Shamar Horatia from Guyana with the win. The official times, Shamar Horatia, 10.52. Second, Mazina Barrett, 10.57. Makish Compton from GC Foster, 10.58. Javani Davis from Legacy, 10.61. Javal Wright from Uimona, 10.60. Here finishes there in that C final of the men's 100 meters here at the Velocity Fest 15 on Stride Vision TV. All right, so on to the B final. And in lane number eight, the Barpedian, representing the Racer Strap Club, 10.56 in qualifying. Mikhailiv Everett, he is in lane one, O'Shane Bailey, former national champion, personal best, 10.03 for him, Ramon Barneswell, MVP, 10.13 personal best for him, Michael Campbell, 10.07 MVP, personal best, 10.07 for him, Dynamic Speed, Javari Thomas, Personal best there, 10.25. Earl Simmons, 10.35 from GC Foster, season's best. Personal best there for him. As they're on their mark, six facing the starter in the set position. 
off and running. So it's level. And on the outside there is Griffith from Racers. Beside him is Foster and Earl Simmons or Shane Bailey in the middle. Fly down to the wire. And the man from GC Foster, Earl Simmons, with the win. 10.34, 10.39, the, the official time for Earl Simmons from GC Foster College. That's a big run for Earl Simmons. 10.39 with the win. Bailey, second, 10.44. O'Shane Bailey, a former national champion. Here's your replay again. Four had a chance down to the final 90, the five meters before Simmons nicked it at the line. Campbell third, 10.45. So 10.39 for Simmons to get the win. For Michael Campbell. So your official times here, Earl Simmons, 10.39, your winner from GC Foster. Second, O'Shane Bailey, Sprint Tech, 10.44. Third, Michael Campbell, 10.45, a season's best for him. Ramon Barnswell was fourth, 10.45. Rashid Foster from Michael, fifth, 10.50. And Kroon Griffith, a season's best, 10.55. Your finishers here in the men's B final. That was your penalty. Will be on the way momentarily. The men's A final here at the Lost the Fest. 15. And it's going to be a strong field. We look to be looked for, uh, we are looking for uh, a 10 1 or a 10 2 tonight. So, a beautiful day is coming to an end here at the JC Ashenheim Stadium. Started with the Paralympians or the Paralympic athletes, the para athletes. And it has been smooth sailing since. We also saw some relays for schools preparing for the pen relays next week. We also saw some 800 meters. All right, so here is your lineup for the final event here at Velocity Fest 15, the men's 100 meters A final. We have Ashani Smith in lane one. He has a personal best 10.25. Jazil Murphy, the former Bridgeport star, boys champ star, he is coming back from injury. 10.17 is best time. Emmanuel Archibald out of Guyana, he's in three. 10.13, a personal best for him. Javorn Dunkley now representing Elite, formerly of Stets, a personal best, 10.17 for him. Brand Level, a personal best of 10.16, the former Edwin Allen star, now a senior. Sandre Davison, formerly of St. Catherine High, personal best, 10.19, World Honor 20 representative. Taekwondo Tracy, the fastest in the field, a 10 point, or rather 9.96. A personal best for him. He's out there in lane seven. And Emery Barnes, formerly Winston Barnes. 10.08. Used to represent Jamaican College way back in the day. He was a class three 100 meters record holder for a number of years. Switching allegiance to Turkey. In the set position, off and running, it's a level break. And uh, Dunkley, Archibald, on the outside there is Tracy. On the inside there is Archibald. They are coming down to the wire and Davison lips it on the line. 10.11 for Sanjay Davison. Formerly of St. Catherine High, 10.15 for Sanjay Davison. He had some injury issues over the past two years. He's looking to come back to good form as well. Archibald is second, 10.19. And Dunkley third, 10.24. Here's your replay. Spread across, across the field. And it was close going until Davison decided that you shall not pass me today. And he 
step away to nip it and win section A or the A final of the men's 100 meters here at the Lost the Fest. 15. And that's your final event here this evening. Wonderful evening. Want to thank the crew and want to see you again in a couple of weeks. We'll be having more from the Velocity Fest series. So on behalf of the entire crew, Roger Haspel signing out. See you in a few weeks.